Hello guys, this is Dub already here, We're making a video on Get Dirt Nasty's channel. Today we will talk about Call of Duty 2015. For this, if you want to check out my channel, the link will be in the description below. And let's get into this. Alright, when you updated the game for Black Ops 2, which was an automatic update, it had Snapchats around the map on certain pictures on certain maps. Those pictures led to Call of Duty Snapchat account. And in those accounts they showed many things revealing about the next Call of Duty. Before we get into that, let's talk about the little pre-trailer that we had received. On it there was a guy meditating. Not really meditating, but he was sort of meditated and confused and dazed. When I saw this I saw I thought immediately of a doctor. I was thinking of and then when I referred to the Call of Duty Snapchat account, I saw that Dr. Salem was the name of the account. So I said, there must be some sort of doctor that did this to him. And believe me, I think I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. We'll see when the next Call of Duty comes out in seven months. And okay, let's get into the Snapchats. In the Snapchat, the first one I believe was a tree. In the start of Black Ops 2's campaign, it had Mason lying on top of a tree, which refers to a Black Ops 3. The next one, there's a lake, and uh, that lake was one identical to the lake in New Zealand. So, which put me to a more of a middle World at War Black Ops 3 kind of game. So, I didn't really even know what game it's going to be by now. But next, there was a girl. She was looking away from the camera into her, like the light. I didn't really know what to make of this because there has been no female characters in the Call of Duty from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Or World at War. I didn't think World at War had any. But the next one put me to a World at War 2 stand. It had a helicopter, one from the US, which was designed in 1979, which is more of a World at War era so I thought now I'm leaning towards World at War 2 and the next one it had men in war yes this one really really made me think it was World at War 2 over Black Ops 3 it led it leads to World at War because they were they didn't have exos or futuristic stuff so I was thinking World at War right but then I thought meditation with the doctor it could be flashback which is doubt doubtful but it could be a flashback so when while while seeing all those snapchats i noticed there have been a lot of uh, blackbirds snapchats where birds have been eating flesh i don't know if it was human or not but it doesn't really matter it still symbolizes it's some sort of battle and back, let's go back to the tree. When we, when we logged in for the second update of Black Ops 2, we saw that there was a tree in, that said, and so it begins, meaning that the next Call of Duty will be announced shortly. And when they, when some certain people, they did like, edited and reviewed it, it had a hidden picture in it. It was more of a symbol like a trident. It looks like a trident. If so, if it was a trident, it resembles World at War 2 because it was more in the World at War 2 era. The trident was uh, in the time frame of the 1970s, which also, the helicopter was in the 1970s. So I thought, definitely can't be a futuristic Call of Duty. And also, they, in Black Ops 2, they did the third update for the game that had the AN-94, it had the 4 removed, the Ballista had the B removed, and when you ever scored 100 points or 1 kill with the Ballista, it removed the 1 in it, so it just had 0-0. Zero, zero. So, when you put those numbers together, uh, it leads to B-4-1. B-4-1 stands for a nuclear bomb in Call of Duty. So when I thought of this, I said, it's gonna be like a 25 kill streak or something. 
So, or a metal. It could be a metal like in Black Ops 2. But I believe it's going to be a kill streak for one. Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 did not have any. They, it, Black Ops 2 did have a metal, but no thing that blows everything up on the map. So, I was definitely thinking it was World at War 2 by this time. But when I woke up that morning, I saw Black Ops 3 was released, the trailer. And I didn't really know what to make of this because all the Snapchats led me to believe a World at War 2 era has occurred. But when you so looked at the trailer, it had a guy wearing something sort of like an exosuit. Which, I wasn't thrilled by that. I really like older Call of Duty, I like standard movement. And I just thinking, I think Sledgehammer should have their own thing. I don't think they should have. I don't think uh, Treyarch should follow Sledgehammer and do that. Because Treyarch's already so... So, they're so good, they don't need to add anything to their game. So, I was definitely a little upset by that. But, it can, maybe it's not EXOs, maybe it's just new technology in the game. But, when we found out about the trailer, we also found out Zombies is coming back. But, I don't really like Zombies with EXOs anyway, so that's not going to be that fun if it has EXOs. And... It sort of leads up to it. I mean, Black Ops 1 had no EXOs. It was really standard, older Call of Duty. Black Ops 2 had more futuristic feel to the game. Set in the high 2000s, I believe. And Black Ops 3, you already know it's going to be really futuristic. Just because they, go, they keep going up and up. But it could just be... It could be... It couldn't... Maybe it's not EXOs. Maybe it's just dashes. Maybe it's not as bad as Advanced Warfare, how it has the double, double jump. Hopefully it's not like that. I mean, dashes are okay, I feel like it won't ruin the game too much, but Exos, you just should not have that in there. Alright guys, there we go. This is the end of the video. Make sure you check out my channel, and also make sure you hit that like button, show Dirt Nasty some support, and until next time, peace.